just want to double check. I'm queuing that, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought I followed you. Did I not? Uh, it, it feels like you're a little early of me, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm not. You usually do it earlier than that, but maybe that's the reason. I, I shall, I'll follow you. Okay. From, from what? Uh, for box 10. Uh, uh, bar 10, sorry. audience it was a you know it was a true pleasure to bring uh, the music of Silvestrov and Mariana Sadovska and uh, Victoria Polova to bring that music back here <laughs> I think he has a great sense of humor. I think he changes his mind about how he wants his music played every other minute. And I think he's a fantastic artist. Fantastic. One of the great artists I've ever met. And I love him. Музика починається з якогось звуку, і, і в тому, в, на початку цього звуку всі рівні, і дилетанти, і геній, і, і бездарність, і таланти, всі рівні з першого звуку, а в другому вже, вже є, а в третьому, а в четвертому вже, вже, вже не доганяє, а в п'ятому, то, а з першого звуку всі тру-ля-ля, бум-бум, да. а, а, а. Тобто, а в чому? То, бо коли текст не просто придуманий, а коли він закерін, ну, 
затонув в якомусь в якійсь тиші і звідти породжений, то ти потім, потім підкаряєшся якійсь силі, невідомій тобі, і воно, і воно поступово йде, а потім ти включаєшся, включаєшся в цю гру. А гра заключається в тому, що, що якщо ти правильний звук перший взяв, то другий ти відповів на правильний звук. А третій ти вів на, 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 менш, на менш правильний, але все ж таки зв'язаний з правильним. І так далі. І тоді виникає, і так виникають і мелодії, які люблять. Бо мелодії теж починаються, кожна мелодія починається з якогось елементарного турляля. Greatest music always invites more questions. It's like answers, answers, the answers always change. The questions, however, don't usually change. But I think the kinds of experiences that I want to be involved with return us to those elemental questions. What does it mean to be alive? right now what are, are our responsibilities to the future to the next generation to the environment to human suffering That will never happen again in quite that way. It won't. Um, and that makes it special. But it was also just the, the, the feeling like we've never played here before. We, and uh, the, um, you know, musicians, um, all of us, I mean, not only musicians, but musicians maybe especially feel vibes. You know, vibes are vibrations of the, you know, the <laughs> what's going on. And the vibes here are very, very deep and complex. That's all I can say. I don't know any more than that, but I can tell you the vibes I get here are incredibly powerful.
it's hard to know what we have right around us. It's very hard. It's, it's sometimes easier to see what we have further away from us. You know, it's like you know trying to look at something really close. Um, you need a magnifying glass sometimes, <laughs> and maybe Chronos can be that magnifying glass for certain um, cultures, certain composers. Um, maybe that's one of our jobs. this American group from San Francisco, what, what are they doing bringing this music to, this Ukrainian music home to Kiev? It's kind of bizarre, isn't it? And yet, there's something so beautiful about the way um, we get to share music. We don't own it. You know, it, hopefully in a concert that we play, it will seem like there's no, there's no possible way the music could ever be played differently than what you hear at that concert. That's our job, is to make it seem like it's the only way it could be done. But actually, it's not true at all. Music can be played so many different ways, and will be in the future. I was, I had the best time of my life last night. It was, I, I called my family after that concert and, and I just said, this, this was heaven. It was, it was great. I mean, I, I was incredibly happy. <laughs>